Morning Year Two. Welcome to Wednesday's reading. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's reading by Mr Elms. I wonder what's going to happen in the book today. We're also going to do some work today on comparing two of the characters in Kitty and the Tiger Treasure. So let's get going. In yesterday's chapter, we found out that the dog had gone running into the Happy Paws pet shop with the statue, but then left without the statue. So Kitty and Cleo have gone into the pet shop to see if they can find the treasure, while Figaro and Pumpkin are waiting outside, keeping guard. So once they were inside the pet shop, Kitty noticed that there was a pair of cat's eyes, and she wondered who the cat's eyes belonged to. I'm sure in this next chapter we're going to find out more, so let's get reading. Chapter 5. The cat with the strange golden eyes stared back at Kitty. Then it vanished, without a word, through a doorway into a back room. Did you see that? whispered Kitty. We should ask that cat what they know about the statue. She turned to Cleo, but the grey cat was gone. Kitty hesitated. Had Cleo been scared away by the other cat? Or did she have a plan to find the statue? A light came on in the back room. Kitty hurried along the rows of cages. She passed hutches full of sleeping bunnies and wide awake hamsters running in their wheels. Two parrots with beautiful green and red feathers were perched in a tall cage with their heads under their wings. Kitty stopped in the office doorway. Piles of shiny things covered the desk, the chair and the filing cabinets inside. Every corner of the room was filled with glittering treasures. Silver plates, strings of pearls and jewels in every colour of the rainbow. Kitty gasped. All these treasures must be stolen. Was the robber dog really doing all this? Perfect greetings, trilled a high voice. Kitty jumped. The cat with the golden eyes lay on a pile of shiny coins. She was honey coloured all over and the name Precious was spelled out on her collar in diamonds. Her pointed ears pricked up as Kitty walked in. There was an odd look in her golden eyes, as if she was trying to puzzle Kitty out. Hello, I'm Kitty, said Kitty. I'm looking for a tiger statue. The Springer Spaniel that stole it came through your door just a few minutes ago. Well, I wonder if Precious knows anything about the missing statue. Does she know anything about the robber dog? We're going to have to come back tomorrow to find out more. Today, we're going to look at two characters from our book. We're going to look at Cleo and we're going to look at Precious. And we're going to think about the things that are the same about them and things that are different. And this is called comparing them or a comparison of characters. So if we look at Cleo here, we can see that she's grey. Now, I actually feel that this picture is not very accurate because her eyes look orange. But if we look at the text, we're told that she's a grey Persian cat with bright blue eyes eyes. So sometimes you can't just go by the pictures. So we know that Cleo is a grey Persian cat. She's got bright blue eyes. We know that she works in the museum and that she likes the statue with all the jewels on that she was guarding in the museum. If we look at our other character that we've just met in our story, the cat called Precious, we find out that she has golden eyes, she likes shiny things and precious things, and that she's honey coloured all over, and that she has a collar with diamonds on that spells out her name Precious. She has pointed ears that pricked up when Kitty walked into the room. So our job today is to compare our characters. On the year two page of the website, you will find this sheet if you are able to and would like to print it. If not, you can draw it. So 
through the middle you can see three circles and those are the things that are the same about both Cleo and Precious. It may be that they're a cat, it may be that they live in Hallam City, it may be that they like Precious things and they like the statue. On the left side where it says Cleo you can see three circles and here you're going to write three things that are just about Cleo. It may be that she's a grey Persian cat or that she has bright blue eyes or that she lives in the museum. Then in the three circles on the right hand side of our paper you're going to be writing three things that are just about precious. Again it could be about her eye colour, her fur colour, maybe where she lives, um, the things that she likes. So that is the sheet that you're going to complete. But just to help you out, I've got a little model of one where I'm comparing Mr. Hart and Mrs. Elder. So here's my sheet and here are my three circles showing the things that are the same about both Mr. Hart and Mrs. Elder. And those three circles are going to be just about Mrs. Elder and three, these three circles are going to be just about Mr. Hart. So let me think about some things that are the same. Well, I know they both work at Kingsley Primary School, so... So both work at Kingsley Primary School. Well, I also know they're both in year two. Okay, and... I know that they're both parents. I know Mrs. Elder's got some children and Mr. Hart's got some children. Okay, so this time I'm gonna concentrate just on Mr. Hart. So I know that Mr. Hart has got short hair. And I suppose while I'm thinking about hair, Mrs. Elder has long hair. Now I know that Mr. Hart, um, he likes geography and especially things to do with Africa. And I know that Mrs. Elder loves to have a dance, especially on a Friday in school. And I know that Mr. Hart has got two sons. And I know that Mrs. Elder has got two daughters. So there is my things that are the same, they're similar, and my things that are different about Mr. Hart and Mrs. Elder. So enjoy filling in yours now, all about Cleo and Precious, and we look forward to seeing them being sent in. Good luck, see you soon, bye.